When you look in the dictionary and you look up a noun, they give you two forms, the nominative and the genitive, as well as the gender. That second form, the genitive, that tells you what declension the noun is. I is first, but that's I is in the letters A, E, and not the letter I. E is second, but that's the letter I, not the letter E. So, I is first, E is second, and is is third. Us is fourth, E is fifth. Fifth, fifth, declension. I is first, E is second, and this is third. Us is fourth, E is fifth, fifth, fifth declension. If you know a noun's declension, you know what endings it will be using. And then you can know a given form's case and meaning. And you can understand what you're hearing or reading. If you don't know an ounce declension, you'll probably find things pretty confusing Because you won't really know what you're doing And you'll always be grasping for meaning I is first E is second And this is third Us is fourth And at E is fifth Declension I is first, E is second, and this is third. Us is fourth, at E is fifth. Declension. If you know an ounce declension, you'll understand what endings it's using. And you'll understand a given form's case and meaning. And you'll understand what you're hearing or reading. But if you don't know an ounce declension, you'll probably find things pretty confusing. Cause you won't really know what you're doing. And you'll always be grasping for meaning. You'll always be grasping for meaning. You'll always be grasping for meaning. You'll always be grasping for meaning.